early 2017. I was doing a lot of driving with my uh, newborn baby, trying to get her to sleep. And I found myself sort of constantly being drawn towards wind farms that are not a, a long drive away, but a good drive for a nap. There's a number of small hills along the way and then you suddenly see like over the crest of this last hill the top of one of the turbines and um, and it's just like an immediate kind of like oh for me anyway and then going over that hill <laughs> I called them scenes of unbridled optimism because it's just dozens of them in this field and it just opens up once you get over that final crest the arms of the of the turbines rotate and the rhythm of them calmed me down and it was, you know, I was like, oh, there's people thinking about a future, there's people planning for it. Because it feels like so often now that we're just planning for the next election cycle or, you know, we're kind of stagnated with climate policy. I needed optimism. So it's the drive to them and seeing them and seeing the rhythm of them all in unison and, and then, yeah, going and sitting underneath them for a little while while my daughter slept. I started trying to find a way to interpret the rhythm and the sense of calm that I was getting from them. I was reminded of the work of Sonia Delaunay and she had done this painting in 1914 that was inspired by the newly installed electric lamp posts on the streets of Paris. The subject matter in itself links beautifully to the wind turbines and the, the way that she was interpreting that as this scene of, to me, pure optimism and positivity and future. That was sort of the start of it, I guess. So I started thinking about the way that that movement and rhythm was resonating through the rest of the landscape and the rest of our world. I'd like to think that we could leave this place better.